Waipa Party has formally written to Electoral Board IEBC to explain why their presidential flag bearer, Kalonzo Musyoka, has been locked out of the August at race. Now the party is seeking an explanation over the move by the IEBC to stop Kalonzo on a technicality after it released a list of 16 presidential aspirants who will present their nomination papers this coming week. And as KTN's political affairs reporter Daniel Karyuki reports, Kalonzo's options now appear limited. The political quagmire that has faced Kalonzo Musyoka in the last few weeks seems to be far from over. Despite Waipa submitting signatures to back Kalonzo's presidential bid, his name may not be in the August 9th presidential ballot paper after the Electoral Commission locked him out on technicality. Kalonzo is among those who failed to satisfy IEBC's strict demands of 48,000 supporters at least 24 counties and presentation of supporters' copies of their national identity cards. But Waipa Party has dismissed IEBC's move, saying they had complied with every requirement for the party presidential candidate to be cleared for the August contest. Waipa Secretary General Shakil Abdallah says, and I quote, We gave them 66,000 signatures in hard copy PDF form and a soft copy in flash disk. They have not specified the form they wanted. The party has written to IEBC. Shakila says, and I quote, I am surprised why the IEBC through the media is indicating that they have not cleared our party leader. The National Election Board has written to the IEBC to find out if there were any issues on Kalonzo's candidature. End of quote. All what is required for any Kenyan to run as a president for Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Muzioka is 100% fulfilled. 100% fulfilled. So mandate number number two has been fulfilled by the party, not Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Musioka. Abdullah says this will be sorted out and that this could be either teething problem or some mischief, but will be resolved and Kalonzo back on the race. Should Kalonzo miss to clear the hurdle, this will mark the end of his short run for the 2022 race for State House after he missed the running mate position in Azimio. He is also left with limited options as legally he is in Azimio coalition party. Kalonzo will also be facing a hurdle of joining another coalition after those coalition deposited agreements with the Registrar of Political Parties. Just the other day, a section of WIPA leaders and aspirants asked Kalonzo to consider going back to Azimio coalition. We had a lot of discussions on how to form uh, the next government and we, we decided uh, we look at all the options. But at the same time, as a party, we must fulfill the requirements of the law for Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka after being given a mandate by uh, the National Delegates Conference. And the mandate was very clear, run for president. And Kalonzo is believed to have demanded several slots in the cabinet should Azimio form the next government and a percentage of other slots before rejoining Azimio coalition. Those cleared to vie for presidency are Raila Odinga of Azimio Coalition Party, UDA's William Ruto, Mwangi Wairia of Usawa Kwawote, Ekuru Okot of the Third Way Alliance, Jimmy Wanjigi of the Safina Party, Ford Asilis Njeru Gathango, and David Waihiga of Agano Party, among others. Thousands of Kenyans, including